Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a June vlog. This is kind of an idea slash, yeah, an e idea that I've had. Um, wanting to like execute on my channel for a while is do like vlogs where I like vlog random days in the month and then upload it and call it like a June vlog. A lot of k-pop youtubers do this type of thing so i thought for the first video i would do it all about bts and do it the month of june which is their anniversary month so it is june 4th the past three days i've been extremely busy and haven't filmed because you would just see me going to work Today is my first like free day. It's five o'clock and I've been doing stuff all day. So <laughs> I guess tomorrow's my first free day. I'm really tired. I have a huge headache, but I want to like, like I get, like I said before, like actually like go out and execute things that I have in my head for ideas of YouTube. So that's what I'm doing. Tomorrow, well this whole month I have a couple BTS related things I'm gonna do so I'm gonna vlog it for you guys tomorrow of a cup sleep event that I'm going to um, But yeah, actually today I'm gonna head to Target and I'm gonna maybe purchase the new tomorrow I shouldn't be a youtuber the tomorrow by together is like you YouTube <laughs> Tomorrow by together is new um, album. I am only going to purchase BTS related albums. I said that. I'm putting it into existence, but I really, really liked TXTs. So I want to go see if they have it at my Target. My Target has a horrible CD selection. So I'm going to go do that and come back. But I, yeah, let's, let's get to vlogging. So I'm back from Target and my Target sucks so bad. You have to ask for K-pop albums, especially ones that just came out. Um, I think it might be just specific for a big hit or high, but because there were other K-pop albums like NCT and Blackpink and stuff, but had to ask for this. <laughs> um, he goes, I know where you're what you're talking about um but this is a target exclusive and it says plus photo card plus one photo card which does that mean i get two photo cards i don't know i think oh i have no favorite i don't really know much about them i just know their names and they're young get out okay here's something oh well they're so cute and tiny oh I like this picture. I, I thought this was a cool picture. I also really love the concept. This is so cute. He's so cute. I love his mullet. What's his name? Starts with a B. Bum, bum, you? <laughs> Any TXT fans, please don't yell at me. This is cute. Oh, this color. It kind of matches my room. Oh my God, they look like ice kings. Game of Thrones. Oh my god, the dress. What are these? Are these stickers? Oh my god, I love stickers. Okay, Subin Taeyun Bum 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 Bean Bum Gyu Hyujin and Hyunikai. I like that name. Those are their names, guys. <laughs> Don't kill me. It's like a mini book. I think this is the photo book. I just saw the photo cards. I'm gonna put those away. Um, where's the actual, oh, this must be the CD. I was like, where's the CD? Oh, this is so pretty, guys. Okay, this is the CD that I'm gonna put. Oh, it has them on. That's the photo cards. Oh, I got, who's this? 
Subin for both of them. He's so cute, isn't he the leader? Anyways, that's my haul back to this being all BTS related. Everyone, it is the next day. I think I left off yesterday's portion unboxing TXT's album. I literally laid around the house all day after that. So today is actually a cup sleeve event. It starts at 1. It's at a place I've never been for and a place that I never go. So should be interesting. I'm going by myself. I'm going to push my major social anxiety to go. Oh, starting tomorrow. I work every day till Saturday. Then I have Sunday off because it's BTS's actual anniversary day. I have a cup sleep event that day, but I also took it off because I'm going to Chicago the next day and I go to Chicago. That's like, I guess like a break a real break but I, I'm gonna try and hang out with my friends and do stuff so I am really tired I've been working every single day but I guess it makes sense because I have to pay for a car if I look gross and like I'm dead I'm not wearing makeup but also because I'm super tired but yes I'm probably gonna go early to the event because I want to lay around the rest of the day like actually use my break to lay and do nothing so so i have no idea what i'm gonna wear today it's hot outside so i'm obviously not gonna wear this sweater but i have these shorts that i'm gonna wear i know that i'm gonna wear these but i don't have like a lot of clean clothes because it's they're all in the wash so these are the shorts <laughs> they're like long they look kind of weird and that angle but i swear they're cute all right so i think i have my outfit I think I'm also going to wear a jacket because I always get cold, but my hair and makeup is not done yet. So I'm wearing these necklaces. This one is from Ana Luisa. It's like their classic chain necklace. And then this one I got for my birthday for my sister. I have no idea where it is. I think it's a local brand here in St. Louis, but it's just, let's say 1997, my birth year. So I'm wearing just like this gray crop top that has a little tie. Um, I feel like really, really high-waisted pants look best with crop tops, in my opinion. So, these are the shorts. They're just... I've been looking for, like, long shorts like this for a while because I hate booty shorts. I mean, these are super long, and I can roll them up if I want. These, I don't know what shoes. Probably Converse, but that's what I have so far. I feel like I'm gonna cry. I have such bad anxiety doing things by myself. It makes me so nervous, but I don't know. There's like really no one up there though, but there's like little signs and everything. Can anyone else relate to this? Like seriously, comment down below if you just feel like crying every time you have to do something by yourself. Especially when it has to do with talking to people. I'm pretty good at doing interviews and going in the first day of a job, but like events. No. <laughs> Alright, I did it guys. I got the drink. It's our most famous drink. It's like uh, brown sugar. <sighs> Why am I so high up? Got the cup sleeve. She gave out some other things. I'll show you guys later. I'm gonna drive home. It's super hot in this car, but the girl was super nice. Didn't stay long. I was the first person to. So I'm back from driving back from the event. So I'm gonna show you guys, I guess, a better look at the cup sleeve. So I actually folded mine and took a video slash picture. Um, it says we are not seven without you and then it says 130606 13 which is June 13th 2013 and it has a picture of them I'm pretty sure this is from their like why aren't you focusing little purple photo shoot that they did so the girl who's putting this on is like uh an 
affiliate for I forgot the like cup sleeve people who put this on I'll link them down below so she was telling me that there was a pink and a purple one and she, they only sent her the purple one anyways so there was also oh BTS cups cup sleeve USA and there's like a 15% off thing but I got Namjoon and Jin Namjoon is my bias so I got that then there was just a little anniversary little photo thing. Cute. And she let, there was like a couple photos and stuff so I picked up a group photo because it's cute. And this is from Festa so I like the group shot out of all of them. So that's everything. My bubble tea is downstairs because it got really hot in my car as i was driving so it got a little warm so i'll see you guys probably in a week but for you it's like two seconds <laughs> Hi everyone, um, I am back from my trip to Chicago and I wanted to end this video with a little haul of some of the things that I got in Chicago and yeah, um, in the last couple clips you saw that I went to the K-pop store in Chicago and I was, I knew what it looked like but when I walked in I was kind of scared because it looked a little run down but inside it was super cute, you couldn't take pictures or anything and it was like what I expected it to look like. So I got one album while I was there. Of course I got BTS. I got You Never Walk Alone, the pink version. And I really wanted the blue version because I really love like the whole theme with that. But the party confetti theme is also really cute. So I didn't really care. Um, I just really wanted the album. So yeah, the pink version, super cute. I mean, look, look at Jimin. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. It was kind of expensive like 40 something dollars um i've gotten albums cheaper than that and that are like the same height as this it's whatever tape photo card and i already put it away so i'll show you guys it's this one here i got that from the k-pop store and i'm just gonna like haul the other things that i got so i went to brandy melville and i really don't want to support me at Brandy Melville just because of like their like whole um like the judgment of clothes on women and like the one size fits all which is still kind of annoying because not one size fits all but they do have really great like necklaces so I really wanted like a silver piece to like match my other silver necklace so I got this it's just a chain um necklace I thought it was really cool and I like chunky necklaces. I have nothing like it. So I got that. This is only $10. And it seems to be good quality. It's just like a, you know, v-neck sweater. And I did not need it. 
This is also one size, but it is a little oversized for me. So I also went to Zara and we don't have Zara's in St. Louis, obviously. And the website is really confusing. So I went there for the main reason of getting like work stuff. So I just got a pair of like pink um, high-waisted work pants. And I got just a pair of like chunky sandals because I've been like wanting a kind of shoe like this. And then I went to Uniqlo, which is one of my favorite like fast fashion clothing stores. I, I don't know what else to call it. Just because it is like a Japanese brand and has a very different clothing in a way from like Western clothes. They also have fantastic basics. I wasn't impressed with Uniqlo this time around because it didn't scream like Japanese fashion for me but whatever I got a basic shirt that I can wear for work it's just a like sort of cropped um, linen button-up shirt cute and then I got a pair of high-waisted like dark wash jeans jeans shorts that are in my bag that I'm not going to unpack because I'm too lazy but I'm probably gonna put a picture up if I can find them. They're just basic pair of like high-waisted shorts. They're a little long and yeah, I think they're cute. So that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this June vlog. Um, I hope to get better at filming these types of vlogs because I want to continue them and I tried a different editing skill as well as adding little like that little green thing that said Hadley Victoria just like spaced it up um but yeah that's it for this video I don't want it to be super long just because it's my first one and yeah um definitely comment down below any like requests that you have because I've been really like trying to come up with ideas so like any like fast videos you guys want to see BTS related k-pop related clothes career stuff like that let me know Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.